All right, gang, we got changes to the new Gunsmith, Gunsmith Innovations, in introducing uh, aftermarket parts and more Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3. So look, the Modern Warfare 3 operators have access to improved weapon functionality through the aftermarket parts feature, representing Gunsmith's biggest change to the weapons you know and use. Uh, so this is going to kind of explain it all. We can actually watch a video on it real quick. I didn't realize it, gang. Let's pop this video in real quick. Let's see if we'll go, will it go full screen? I guess it won't. Be small just hear what they have to say for those are weapons aftermarket parts aftermarket parts are oh sick we bought so here we go again. modern warfare 3 we've added a new way to customize your weapons aftermarket parts aftermarket parts are a new option within gunsmith a way for players to come back to a weapon that they may have already mastered or played out and it's going to give them an entirely new dimension bro, to okay. interact with the gun in a way the regular attachments can't think of them as remixes for the guns it's like a 3d printed part gang literally really, the easiest way to say it is they're nearly a new gun they are powerful meaningful changes to these weapons caliber the way that they fire both rate of fire as well as potentially the fire type we're going to have one of our heaviest light machine guns in the game have a conversion kit that turns it into a bullpup which greatly shortens the configuration of the gun and makes it so that you can so really dirty, run the gun with it. you can spray from the hip you can sprint out way faster than you could with this much longer heavier version of the weapon aftermarket parts really aspire to just be fun we want some of them to be just absolute oddballs that players are completely caught off guard by and want to get in there for just the sheer spectacle that, of it boy. it's going to expand play styles dramatically we've put a lot into aftermarket parts and we are so excited for the community to get their hands on them boom there you go gang aftermarket parts bro they are literally adding like they're 3d printed like i don't know if anyone's noticed that they're plastic that is 3d printed right there like when he he threw all the aftermarket parts of the gun he flipped the side up you can see like the print grooves and the detail all the way up it's super sick uh let's see to give you a better idea of the kinds of change you can make uh examples the beginning with the bull pump lmg conversion mentioned in the video the example showed also compared with the example attachments uh to give an idea of how you can further customize your weapons lethability in the field conjunction in conjunction with aftermarket parts and right, so we got the uh pulma i hope i said that right the pulma uh 762 and they can turn it into the jack annihilator it's kind of crazy Unlock challenge at max level, get 25 kills while hip firing or using tax stance. I guess that unlocks the aftermarket part. Transform this belt fed machine gun with the bull pump conversion kit, greatly increasing the weapon's mobility, handling, fire rate, and recoil off the hip um, and in tax stance. What was once a behemoth weapon can now be used to run and gun without giving up the LMG's deep ammo reserves. Add some aftermarket parts in the form of recoil pads fitted to the stock for greater accuracy, as well as aftermarket bull pump barrel for improved bullet velocity and damage range. This provides a solid foundation for aggressive play that can only be further improved throughout the use it with additional attachments. So essentially, you can take an LMG and say, I'm not going to be a camp a little bit, and turn it into a bull pump and rush around and rip nerds. Uh, second option right here Renetti handgun with full auto carbine. Uh, so it says unlock 30 kills uh, with five attachments equipped and then you unlock this body. So, oh right here through the use of 3d printed parts You can convert the burst fire Renetti into a full auto handgun a remnant of an SNG gain increased bullet Velocity range and rate of fire at the cost some mobility and recoil control of the conversion also supports tactical stance Gang this is so sick uh, right here it looks like he added stocks that make it akimbo like this got this it's so sick uh let's see what they say here add additional support to the weapons frame allowing operators to place one wsp swarm in each hand for aggressive akimbo stance and he's playing on favela and i am a hi uh let's see complement the akimbo conversion kit with a laser that improves hit fire accuracy aggressive stealth play game this is super big man um Attachment locks for the new Modern Warfare 3 weapons attachments such as grips, barrels, magazines, and stocks will no longer require players to use a specific weapon after they have already been unlocked for another one. For example, 
The assault rifle stock attachment is available for both the AMR9 SMG at level 8 and the Riveter shotgun at level 12. If your AMR9 is already progressed to level 8 or higher, the stock will be available on the Riveter immediately. Done. The Riveter does not have to be level 12 to use the joint. The second, I mean, off rip, boy, you can use it. That's so sick. That's actually fast. That's. I feel like that's what they wanted to do with M2 and they didn't. Gang, if you're new to the channel, enjoy the content. Hit the sub button. Crush that like button. Tomorrow, we have gameplay. Game, we have gameplay. Let's go, baby. Hit that sub. Crush that like. I'll catch you tomorrow for some gameplay, baby. Let's get it.